pew, pew. Do you like making sounds? I do. Sometimes I make my own sound effects and some people think I'm too old for that. Anyway, I have a book to read, maybe two, maybe three, and I hope you are doing well and I hope you like one of these books. Nobody like a book. Nobody like a book. Aren't we lucky that we like books, August? I think they're wonderful. Nobody like a book. We learn important stuff from books. We learn to speak and write. We learn why icebergs stay afloat and why Titanics sink. We learn to play harmonica and how to bake and cook. We learn to read and write. There is nobody like a book. But books are only smears of ink without the reader's mind to give the letters meaning and to read between the lines. So step aboard the Book Express. It's waiting at the station. But can you guess the address of your final destination? The greatest nation in the world. Your own imagination. I've learned to name the planets and to track the distant star. I've learned to bottle moonlight and to calculate how far. A solid rocket booster sends a shuttle into space. I've learned to build a telescope to see space face to face. Some home, oops, I'm sorry, this homemade pinhole viewer even lets me see the sun. There is nobody like a book to show you how it's done. And this book even shows you how to build a pinhole viewer if you wanted to look at the sun without hurting your eyes. My launch pad is a science book. My mind's a constellation. The only rocket fuel is, uh, the only rocket fuel I need is my own imagination. Look at all these stars. And he's drawn line between them to make wonderful creatures and people. That looks like a dragon and a beaver. And that looks like a giraffe to me. Another dragon and a peacock. How cool. I've climbed the heights of Everest. One hand behind my back. I've seen the sights of India from high atop a yak. I've antelope in Africa and kissed a crocodile as I was sailing all alone along the River Nile. I'm quite the global traveler. I've been to every land. China, England, Russia, Rome, New Guinea, and Sudan. New Zealand and Australia, Yugoslavia and Perth, Canada and Kathmandu, Dallas and Fort Worth. And here's some birds. Let's take a look. This peacock is from India. This is called a red jungle fall, jungle fall from Thailand. And this is a tundra swan from Russia. This one is a Canadian goose from Canada. And this is a griffin vulture right here. And he's from Serbia. This is a bald eagle. And he's from the United States. This is a secretary bird from the Sudan. This tall guy right here, this guy right there, he is a, I'm having a hard time reading that. 
red crown crane from China. He's beautiful too. And this is a harlot macaw, macaw, harlot macaw from Honduras. And this is a, oof, let's just say bird of paradise from Papua New Guinea. This is a mockingbird from the United States. And these are Spindales from Puerto Rico. That's a sparrow, a sparrow from Italy. This little guy is a European robin from the United Kingdom or England. A nightingale from Croatia. This big bird right here, that's an emu from Australia. This little kiwi bird is from New Zealand. Isn't that cool? All the different birds. But although these wondrous places hold a certain fascination, the greatest nation in the world is my own imagination. I visit any world I wish and never leave my chair. There is nobody like a book to make me feel I'm there. Go up. Oh, so step aboard the Book Express. It's leaving from the station. The only ticket needed is your own imagination. Whatever are you waiting for? The adventure starts today. Just grab a book from off the shelf. And you're on your way. The end.